Good day Glowforge friends, I am back with another Glowforge tutorial using Inkscape. Today we are going to make a quick and easy keychain. Let's start by clicking File and choosing New from Template and find our Glowforge template. I've told you before that I like to use millimeters so that's what I'm going to use. You can pick a different one if you'd like to. Before we go too far, I'm going to hit zoom and I'm going to go to this corner where I'm going to build my sweet little keychain. I'm going to cut the keychain out of wood, so I'm going to start with a rectangle. And I'm going to draw that rectangle by simply clicking and dragging, but then I'm going to change to the measurements I want. I always like my keychains to be 75 by 25. And then I like to round the corners with the radius of 3 on each side. Zoom in a little closer and take a peek at that. I'm liking it. I do want to have a stroke paint though, so I'm going to add that and I want my strokes to be red. So I'm going to just drag that across so that I've got the fill of green and the stroke of red. I'm going to add my cool little hole. Uh, I drag these out and I don't worry about being perfect because I'm going to change this radius. I like a diameter of five, so I'm going to type a radius of 2.5 for each of these. Then I can switch to the pick tool and drop it right in the corner where I want the keychain hole to be. I have no need for the fill back on my rectangle. I'm going to switch back to that rectangle and I'm going to shut it to off so there's no fill there. I'm going to do the same thing for that little circle so now I've just got the outlines that I want for those parts. So with the outsides of our keychain in place and with the color set to red, that is important, now I'm going to add my text. To do that, I simply click the groovy little text button and let's put in a silly word. I'm going to put wow with an exclamation point. And then I love to come down to the text and font choices. I like to click on the first one and then just use the arrow key to move through and look at all the amazing possibilities for how my font could look. I'm going to choose this one right here, the brush script, and hit apply to watch it show up. Switch to my stretch tool to stretch it in every direction until I'm happy. I'm going to leave a little bit of room over here to put a little image when I'm done. And then when I'm happy, I'm going to switch back to the select tool and do path, object to path. I'm going to give it no stroke paint, but then I'm going to click fill, and I'm going to fill it with green. And then I'm going to click Object, and I'm going to ungroup that. So it shows me that there's four objects selected, and I'm going to do Control D to duplicate them. And then on the duplicates, I do not want them to have fill, and I do want them to have stroke paint. I'm going to change my stroke style so that it's got a one millimeter outline. I don't like that, so I'm going to change it to 0.75 and see how I like that. That I do like. And then I don't want to cut these out, so I'm going to use a third color on the stroke paint. I am going to change that to blue. To do that, I simply drag that all the way to blue, and I'm going to drag that back to zero. So now I've got three colors, red for the cuts, blue for the outline, and green for where it's going to fill it in. I'm going to go back to that stroke style, and I'm going to go back to 0.5, because I think this is just going to look a little more nifty if there's more of the green when I do that engraving. So now I'm going to grab everything. So I've got it all selected. I could, of course, done Select All, and I'm going to do File Save As, and I want to save this as WoW Keychain, and this is going to be called Version 4 because I've been playing with this for a while. At that point, I can move to my software, and I am going to upload that new project from my 3D Modeling Keychains folder. There's WoW Keychain 4. Notice it loads, and on this left side, it gives me four different pieces to play with. I'm going to drag them in one piece down to the board. I'm going to keep all the measurements, and I'm just going to put in my settings. I know that I can cut circles by doing three passes at 155.75. I do have this set for six millimeters, and this project is a three millimeter piece of walnut, so I'm going to switch that. Same thing here, three passes, 145.75, and I'm going to change it 
to three millimeters as well. It is important to remember if you're doing non-proof grade and saving your settings that you always keep track of that focus depth. I'm going to go to the wow and I want it to go 1425 so it's going to engrave it a little deeper. As I showed you earlier, switching. So I got to set that to three. And then I'm going to go to the final shading and I'm going to make it the one 520, set it to the three, and then I'm going to leave it at 90 lines per centimeter. I want to add one more cool piece to this. I'm going to add a cool little piece of artwork. I'm going to upload one of my Bitmojis. I've got a folder where I store them all. And this one, I'm going to do the flexing muscles because we are flexing our Inkscape muscles. Let's drag that cute little image into place, get it the way we want. I'm going to zoom in so I can see it a little better. Switch to the move. Switch back to those sizes. And I'm going to put it just like that. And under settings, I'm going to do the 1535. But I'm going to double check and make sure that I've got more resolution. I'm going to go all the way to 265. I'm going to set that at 3 millimeters. And I don't want to go quite that deep, so I'm going to go 20. I'm not going to save the settings because I find that I adjust these a ton anyways. And now I'm going to hit print and let's see what we get. Just a quick peek as it's doing its job. Uh, the actual... The arms turned out pretty doggone good. That was about all the detail we needed it for people to see what it was. So I'm pretty happy with how quick that's going and how it's going to turn out. All right, I really want to pound home how important the colors are. You can see here, this is the same style keychain, but this time I've got red, 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 and just green. Watch this. If I do file, save, and then bring that into our glow for app, you can see that I get two pieces that I can cut from, and it doesn't work because it would be cutting the letters out as well, which would be silly because if you cut the letters out, well, it wouldn't be a keychain anymore. So once again, that just pounds home how important it is to use the different colors as you design. And of course, the best part of any project is when you actually get to remove it and double check to see if it worked. Boom. Cut out perfect. Now I can flip it over and put somebody's name on the back. But for the purpose of this lesson, I was just showing you how to cut engrave and then make the lines a little deeper around the outside using Inkscape. So hey there friends, thanks tons for watching. I hope you enjoyed the training. If you found it useful, please mash that like button. Got a question or a comment or even a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button and last but not least, click that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Montag. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. The monkey thought it was all in good fun.